Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can define payment terms for vendor as well as customer payments. Okay, so vendor and customer invoices. So here what we are going to talk about payment terms is something like, like a simple example. I work for you and uh, uh, then I send you an invoice and if the company pays me within 15 days, they, they, they will give me 98% of the money uh, they owe to me that's like a two percent discount if they pay me in 30 days they will give me 100 percent so just because i'm getting the uh, money before i can get, get rid of like two percent to the customer okay so how we can configure and this is very important so the transaction code you can go to um spro but i'll take the easy route olme okay it just takes me here and here i'll just go to um, purchasing it's this is the pitch purchasing piece and i'll go to supplier master and here i'll define terms of print so here i'll just create a payment of like suppose uh, i'll create new payment okay and i put z and suppose uh, 0 05 okay and he said and i'll put like uh, five percent uh, discount on five days okay. and then on five days, so five days okay and here i will put customer vendor here i can put the payment method if you want but i will not put and it's always here i'll just put document date and here i can put percentage okay so it would be five percent on number of days five days and it would be like i can say zero percent on suppose 30 days okay and here i'll just put this and i'll save it so within five days within 30 days do you need okay uh, here i could have given a flavor so i can put two percent on suppose 50 days and then i'll put 30 days. so within 15 days so within five days you have five percent then within 15 days two percent so this is flipping so we, we i can say uh discount on five days and two percent um discount let's copy it being lazy discount on oops so two, two it has some limit on five five two percent this on, on this is how it looks and now i'll just say and i'll save it okay now this is the way now you might say okay well, we have done that how will it look so we'll go to m23n suppose and we'll see a purchase order and we'll go to the org data and here we, not the org data i think it is stored in where Delivery invoice, sorry. Mm -hmm. And here we can see some of the payments. I just put see within five days five percent, within fifteen days two percent, and within thirty days due unit. Okay. So if I pay within five percent, uh, suppose I owe hundred dollars, the customer will pay me ninety five. If they pay me within fifteen days, they will give me two days. Between five to fifteen, they will give two percent. And this, and if after 15 minutes, they will pay with the full money. But here, one thing very important: it's based on the document date. So when it's based on the invoice uh, document date that is mentioned in the invoice, not on the system date and all those things. Okay, these are legal payments. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great.